Okie dokie. Leg hole. Right, I turned the music off. That's why things are so fadoodly. If I turn some music back on. But what? Block. Eh. Okay. I think. going to be fighting a boss today. Man, I really only have four Estus. We're back, we're back at it. Dark Souls 2. We're going to be fighting the Smelter Demon. And I turned to Manzo on account of, uh, going to need to summon Lucatiel. It's time for Fencer Sharon. save your last bit of stamina for the roll. She can combo, uh, combo me out, but I can combo her out as well. I just gotta hit her once. There we go. Now it is time for things to become problematic. Too many of them. So there's an item that we weren't able to get last time. It uh, caused me some consternation. item yet. We'll come back once I get flash sweat. But for now... I think it's not the most sturdy weapon, is it? I wonder if I should Keyblade until I get to where I want to go. Not a word for people who build fences. There probably is a word for somebody who builds fences. Just, you have to get pretty obscure to find it. Well, 
Let's see how the Keyblade performs. I don't want to use the Curved Sword on... ...for, uh, the boss. And the Keyblade is just good. Got some counter hits there. Nope, nope, nope. Ah. Start things off right. The law of viscosity is the least of our worries. So I think we've killed both Armorer Dennis and Fencer Sharon, so we should be safe from those. We just got many, many horrible enemies to face with and lava. of the non-viscous lore. I gotta say, the Keyblade feels a little better than the Twin Blade for these guys. Uh, viscosity. I know you're always thinking about viscosity, Kaz. <sighs> I said I was safe from invaders, but... There's always forlorn. this Whew. there are enough enemies in this game for it to feel like for it feel right to go through in an area once so managed to kill forlorn and one of the knights who was up my ass but there's still between four and six more knights I have to kill. That arrow had wall hacks. It like swooped around a corner to get me. this guy or he will become problems. Just let him attack and attack. 
he dropped 54 wood arrows. You're not done yet. This is probably the worst designed spot in the Dark Souls series. I can't tell if they thought too much about it or if they didn't think about it at all. There's just nothing to recommend this part of the game. What part is there that, for you to like? Transition to the area is bad. The level design is dickheadish. The enemies are annoying and much more powerful than any enemy you had fought. The Death Howls are recycled from Dark Souls 1. They're the exact same noise that Silver Knights make. nothing to recommend it. It's not fun. It's not clever. It's not well designed. It reminds me of like a Mario Maker level. I never had a big problem with Smelter Demon, but I understand why people hate Smelter Demon. Trying a new plan. I got at least one of them to fall to their death. Not sure what my plan is, is doing right now. But I'm confusing my enemies, which means I have to be at advantage. holding block
It's not that late, is it? It's only 9, only 9.40. New plan. Okay, look at Teal is following me. Now I just have to kill him without Look at Teal dying. Nope, can't can't use the grease on this weapon, why would I? doing the explosion, and Luca Teal is not drinking her Estus. What was... Excuse me? Attention to Luca Teal, please. I got a reward. I think I used 22 life gems since I started the stream. Let's see what the porcine shield is. 48 dark arrows and some shit. Excellent. However, we are not done yet.
much health does this thing have? A lot? have a pursuant amount of health, that's true. My reward is... a hat. Okay. Now that we're done with that nonsense... shield because I don't have a stamina ring I think the keyblade might be better against these guys Uh, the Sunlight Parma, which is the best parrying shield I have. I have par I have shields designed for parrying, but because of that, they're worse for parrying. That makes sense, right? I want an actual shield, and I want my Keyblade. Two shot you if I'm two handing. I can. Now here you want to run. Well, it worked. And now I have to make that jump. through the Belfry. I think I go through the Belfry. Some of the chests up here are mimics and I don't remember which ones. to the Belfry. There's no actual reason to go through them. I don't think opening... I don't think it makes them open faster. Uh, it just makes you get out of the animation sooner. die here. That 
That's fine, though. My armor is pretty bad, all things considered. I expect for fire resistance. There's items here at some spots. I'm gonna have to kill all these guys. I don't care about my souls that much. But did I open the door? Did I, the, the fog wall was gone. If I did, that's progress. I didn't. Can I do it in time? Let's find out. I hit Alt F Alt F4. Watch me have destroyed my save. This doesn't work with Dark Souls 2, but we'll see what happens. I think it saved me dying. Uh, someone have to kill everything in the, in the in the belfry? Well, I guess so. Well. This fucking sucks. I think I hate this game. Let me just kill the little man. can't because enemies have 10,000 health in this game. At least the mad warrior didn't spawn this time. Phantom I could ignore. Because the Phantom... 
can't go up ladders. Well, kill the guy though. Now, I don't really care about my souls that much because I've already gotten back up to. Almost 5,000. Granted, I'm going to have to spend all of this on life gems. Plan half worked. I did not poison him, but I did distract them. So here's the big joke about Belfry Soul, is that I got that for two items. We made no friends. I don't have any friends. Who would be friends with me after what I've done? Why didn't he break the entrance? Why didn't he break the entrance? I was counting on him breaking the entrance. He always breaks the entrance. <sighs> oh, 
do I do this to myself? They're easy to kill with the ki with the key blade. Not break it. Do an attack. No way in hell I can get that item. Don't step on the switches that are intentionally hard to see. Exiting always steps on the first switch and makes lava happen. I could suicide for that item. my blood stain won't be on the lava path, but I'm not really concerned about souls right now. souls are gone. Lever resets. Who 
Who goes around resetting letters? Le levers. I didn't jump there. I have a plan. Probably the same people who keeps closing these doors. Guys, I should fight. Oh, there's a mimic over here. Not a mimic. Yeah! Eat shit! I'm cool. That was my plan all along. <sighs> There's items I have to get to, right? I should get to the bonfire, then worry about collecting items. Although, speaking of... Actually, can these guys be poissoned? We should stream more uh, Sekiro, Kaz. You need to. Uh, you need to get the other ending of the game. And just one of them I can fight. The 
game loves giving me arrows. And now that I can get the items, I can just ignore these guys from here on. Now the fire drake stones are appropriate at least. Three bonfire seeds. So over here is a fake out. I actually like this little part. Because it puts you with a scary enemy in a confined spot. Black Witch Domino Mask. That's in Dark Souls 3 as well. Because you have that scary enemy and you can run past him to try to pull this lever. But for some reason this meat cleaver part here makes you wait. Oh yeah, this guy. But the trick is these guys aren't very frightening. They are uh, pre predictable. Yeah, the cleaver, the fire, there's like lots of ways to deal with that guy. But finally, we got to the bonfire. Which means I can make the area easier by turning this off. So there's two items in the Iron Keep that I just can't get, because I cannot survive long enough to get them. So, for now, I'm going to operate under the assumption that they are not important. If I get flash sweat, I could conceivably get them, but short of that, I don't see how I could. Excusey. That did say smooth and silky stone plus one, didn't it? Because you get sh lightning shortbow plus one there. This is not a blocking fight. This is a stabbing fight. The fight probably won't go long enough for me to need that. Game 
Team's acting weird tonight. So the Iron King isn't that frightening. You don't go so I like this fight much better than other fights in in the game. Please get to where I can hit you. The beam is actually a good time to get damage in, so I shouldn't have done that. Dog wants attention. This is a bad time for Doggy to want attention. Well, after I kill the old Iron King, Scrumpy. far enough away you can dodge between the fire. I want now I have to go let me see what my dog wants.
I forgot if I got the key for this or not. I guess I don't. item I'm looking for is the king ring. So other than that... to grease the curved twin blade really puts a kibosh on how cool it can be. So I guess we're going quality. in the iron keep I died passed over. Cool. Yes, I got that item. The two items I have not gotten are chests.
chests that are on fire. I think that was it. Let's do something over here. There's not. Okay, we have obtained all items. I'm running away so that I can feather. Although, if I come this far... And I'm just going to run from these guys. It's time to go to the Shrine of Winter. It still makes me re it makes me laugh that they put unfinished enemies into the remaster of the game or the enhanced remake that came out a year after the game did. Like, you know what? Sure. These enemies, we didn't finish their animations. Open up. go to Elois or whatever this is called. I just want to nab the bonfire though. This place fucking sucks. I put the silver cat ring on instead of the covetous silver serpent ring. That's funny. Well, it's always nice to have uh... Okay, you see the bad DLC. And this DLC isn't fun, but really only one of them is good. But I may not yet fight the, uh, fight this DLC because, uh, you see, if I don't find the eyes of the Firekeeper, we're going to have to fight the Cat Invisible. Broom Tower has uh, Sir Alone and the Fume Knight in it, which I both really like. I'm in the minority where I never had a problem with the Fume Knight because I'm so cool and pretty and handsome and beautiful and powerful. If only you could be those things like me, then maybe you could defeat the Fume Knight easily and have fun. But I recognize that it's just something that not everybody can be. The actual reason is because I was punching. And punching makes the boss easy. Come here, you. How come you can poise through my shit, you little turd? Life gems are good. Here's also a funny thing. Daytime. Not raining. Overcast. Go through this tunnel. Raining. Nighttime. Nighttime. 
Also, splash ahead. Let's talk to the liar. Why did I ever think I could hit a goblin? If you're wearing the king ring, then none of these guys will attack. It's cute. Guys, why do they hit so fucking hard? Just gotta find the king ring. I don't think what's an accident. I'm, I'm, I think the guys hitting hard is like intentional. Or are you referring to the bizarre area transitions? Lock onto that guy! Oh, you piece of shit. This game sucks. This game fucking blows. Why do you like these games? This game in particular. It's not good. This game's in fact very bad. like a... Nah. There's something up here. I need to get 
closer to the bonfire. give you the intro sequence but the elevator to the volcano is just funny like even if that's supposed to be like a bizarre dream sequence thing like it, it, this happens so abruptly and without any sort of acknowledgement Suddenly having the distinct idea that I missed an item in the Iron Keep. <laughs> Is there not a mimic in the Iron Keep? And an illusory wall past Belfry's soul. certain there's an item I missed in the Iron Keep. Which means I have to go back. Because what if it's the King Ring? lucid of the fact that there could be an item here because I'm here right now. Put a few hours between me and this realization and I really couldn't be sure. I got interrupted from looking for it before because of Collector Spanky.
I presume the King Ring could be in the DLC. There's a lot of places it could be. Which is why I have to be fastidious. Because around here... Yep. King Ring? Can I end this stupid game? King Ring? Uh, I really remember there being a Mimic too, but that might have been in the original rather than Scholar. So there's that Gecko. The Gecko could have God's no knows what on his body. Anyways. to open all these doors to Chad. We've gotten to the point where I'm starting to razz on the game. As much as I like it overall, today it's been a not liking it at all type of day. Probably because I was on in the Iron Keep. Okay, come over here. From downtown! And here's the fun part. Those ruined sentinels are fucking in the zone now. Buddy's friend, that guy's buddy, uh, lock blocked for him. Yeah, 
Yeah, both trap chests and mimics. I don't actually mind that. I have to kill these ruined sentinels because they will come into the rooms. I especially love mimics. I haven't met a mimic I didn't like. Not actually sure what this accomplishes. Yeah, they put mimics in a game with breakable chests. Hell yes. Look how goofy he looks. I was literally holding block. But it doesn't matter. I hope nobody was tired of these guys. sword is almost broken. Let's talk to Dracula. Abikai joined friends with Gandalf. I'm not doing any of the dark chasms, at least not yet. 
I just went back to the bonfire that I was at! Stone men might follow me. Okay, even the stone men don't want to follow me. Oh. I love that guy. Though it's kind of like dickhead level design. If you have a problem with dickhead level design, then this game will be huge problems for you. Where's the guy? He's up. He's up there. Into the goop. Alive? I don't know if that's how you're supposed to get them, but that's how I've always done it. On account of the fact that... It sucks if you don't. It's funny that I still haven't really found anything better than... Can I get under 50? I don't remember who Retainer was. Um, there. It's DLC stuff. Anyways. Juiced myself because I was thoroughly hollowed out. poisoned. Is 
somehow I didn't. See what I mean? Do I have any antidotes? I have things that inflict poison. me one at a time, please. I thought this was a good idea. Any of this. Oh, and if you get close to that painting, it curses you. At least I finally got an upgrade. Shieldmaster Pose is necessary in this game. I don't know what you would do in this game if you couldn't bash people and repost them. moves like a Dorcas. Anyways. Hidden ladder. Basically worthless. 
But it lets you fight this guy. Weird. I don't remember this weapon at all. There's the giant queen hanging out over there. You can talk to her, but she has nothing nothing important to say. Ooh, should I summon backup? What is that thing she's wearing on her head? I don't remember that. What if I use my other twin blade, but grease them? Stop it! Come on! So the trick is the other dragon rider has like basically no health. boss, I guess. Glorious treasure! Treasure! Do not seek the treasure. Juice me.
I don't know if the King's Ring could be an NPC drop. Maybe it could be. I guess if I really wanted to know, I could just look up where it is, or tell someone else to look it up for me. How come this still deals 150 damage? Okay, that's the screen I'm looking for. 150 plus 95. 170 plus 82. So that's 200 plus 52. So 252, which is what that number was. And this is... 245 plus. Oh, I had that key? Oh man, I'm glad I had that key. Who's ready for the suckingest things that ever sucked? I don't- I wouldn't have to do this because I could just use the king's ring. You see, I have to kill things by this. Come the ultra fuckers. Ah! Cracking soul items doesn't work. It has to be from something dying. I think I want the keyblade against the ultra fuckers. Keyblade has just been far and away the best weapon I could be using. Football team logo for the Ultra Fuckers. Maybe that's what we should get Washington renamed to. The Washington Ultra Fuckers. Only one. I'm pretty sure you have to kill two things. Nope, you don't. That turns on the elevator. Would the logo of the Washington Ultra Fuckers be Mask of Judgment and something else? Um, I 
I think Drill would be a good mascot for it. But Drill basically already is a mascot. Drill has, uh... The Chargers, I think it is. The lightning bolt thing. That's basically Drill. Horse. Why is there a horse here? Why are you asking that? This horse was designed to be a boss fight in a spooky skeleton land. Thus, we've put it in our castle. for the sword, nerd. These guys? At least they're knights. I didn't hold block up in time, I guess. Thanks, stairs. I'm alive because of stairs. Luckily, I can throw a Lloyd's Talisman at the fucking ground. The D in Dranglea Castle stands for horse. I, I understand. Chaos Boots! give up the Keyblade now. I could use it as a key item. Since I've turned on the elevator. Pretty sure this gargoyle is real. Though it wasn't a gargoyle to begin with, it was a grotesque. A gargoyle, very specifically, is for water. Anyway. 
twice. Be careful with these ladies. If that attack hits you, you just fucking die. Die, ghost. You don't belong in this world, ghost. Back at the beginning. Why is the Keyblade so good? So I could give up the Keyblade now for a random item. The Keyblade is replaceable. In the very strictest of senses, it is replaceable. Let's take a look at our weapons. Black Steel Katana is pretty real. I'm a genius. I knew that guy was there. The power attack on the Black Steel Baton is pretty bad. What's the Forbidden Sword? And this is kind of a Forbidden Sword. There's this one. Seven plus one forty four. Oh, man, if I if I had a uh... is this actually the weapon I actually want is Murakumo. I would I could fuck with a Murakumo right now. This weapon's good. 
Oh, right. I had forgotten. I was using this thing. Why did I stop using... Did I just forget about it? Okay. I think... I should give up the key to the embedded. So long, gay Bowser. I don't even get my reward yet. Well... Well, that clearly wasn't worth it. But it could have been Space Jump. Okay. Okay, this weapon's good. I was I had not completely sold myself on that fact. What the hell is that? I know what this does. But first. Ah, the pain sticks. Yes. Worf's pain sticks. Also, you spelt it wrong. It's S-T-I-K. Ash and Night Boyd. Is, can't you summon Bennett of Yugo for this fight? Oh, there's a weapon. Ash Okay. Who all can you summon for this? Actually, you might be able to summon Vingarl. Oh, hold up. Mirror Knight. Summon. Okay, I might have to go tap out Bennard's uh, dialogue, which I had not previously done. 
There's a sign over there. Yeah, there, there's Ashenite Void. But he sucks. He's really bad. And I need to summon Bennert three times. Yeah, not everyone can be Tarkus. Okay, maybe he'll appear now. I think I see it. No, I didn't see it, but nonetheless, he is here. Yeah, they, you know they're done when they start to trail off. That's completely true. So, Mirror Knight. Sadly, I'm playing offline. So I can't experience the best part of this boss fight. Also, because it's raining, he might have fire resistance. Stamina sucks. Get him, Benny! Fuck him up! Thanks, Benner. And he's still following. Eternal Sanctum Key, our straight robe, oh, and what was that? Well, I guess I needed that. So, we started this stream out with one of the worst areas possible in the game. going to end the stream looking at the other worst area possible in the game. Unpatched, this was one of the stupidest, least fun things in any video game. And now that it's patched, it's merely one of the stupidest, unfun things in a video game. Shrine of whatever. 
so extremely sucks that I don't know if I want to do it. So for now, we're not going to do it. Let's level up and call it a stream. Man, this place sucks. until 40 decks. Can I just get those now? Pour one out for... Our old buddy... Keyblade. Keyblade was with us... For a good long time. companion and I traded it away for uh, some chameleon usages shameful 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 But, you didn't find anything useful. Pimple Bansine fizzed away, Fat Storm Faking, we peel Fortnite. 